Hello, John Bloodworth, Gentleman Crafter here again with another card layout. With Mother's Day approaching, especially in the UK, I thought I would use some of my stash to create something motherly. So the card layout that I'm using is this one, and I will put that to one side. Just while I tell you that I'm using the Graphic 45 papers again today. As you can see, I've cropped into them quite a bit, but that's what you get in that pad. And I'm going to team it up with some black and coloured cardstock. And I will now start chopping that down. As ever, now we're on number 19, you probably know the drill. But if you're just discovering me, I do have a playlist of these card layouts. And each of the card layouts is available as a download from my website, gentlemancrafter.com. So once you've watched the video and given it a like, don't forget to subscribe before you head over to my blog and... Uh, download the layout. So I'm just starting to stick the layers on here and I'm going to work with a portrait 6x4 card. I have added an extra layer to this and I will include it in the printable layout um, but just so you know that I'm doing that. Apologies by the way if my fingers look a bit grubby. I've been replacing the glass in the front of the log burning stove and that fine so um, soot really does stain, no matter how hard you scrub. Hmm, I wonder if I could use that for a future creative project. Maybe I could make my own charcoal. Now, I've done a bit of um, die cutting ahead of time here. And I die cut the letters from black cardstock, from the blue cardstock, and from the red. I've layered up the black and the blue together, and then offset the red layer just to give myself a little bit of a shadow effect. I've also die cut the strip that went across the middle and I've extended it a little bit as well and also created a couple of little um, ribbon strips from leftover bits after I chopped it down. Okay, so we'll bring back the card and I'm going to add some decorative um, adhesive rhinestones or gems and I'm using this template this one I ha I did get from Basil Basics a long, 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 long time ago. Uh, 2010 it says on that stencil, so that's more than 10 years old. Um, but obviously you could create your own or download some from the internet or even just freestyle it, whatever you fancy doing. It's just really something to add a bit more than just the lettering. And as you can see, I've got plenty of the self-adhesive gemstones. A full rainbow, in fact. Self-adhesive does save you time, but if you find that the adhesive doesn't always work, you can always apply a bit of glue beforehand. Now I'm just marking where the top of that strip goes because I know it um, appears two inches down from the top of the card. And then I'm sticking that in place with the book binding glue that I've been using throughout this series. Didn't quite make it exactly four inches across. So I will have to just trim that down a little bit. Shop. There goes half the card. <laughs> mm. I've done that before. Have you? Let me know in the comments. Snipping up the foam bags into slimmer strips so that I can apply them to the back of the letters. These letters, by the way, are by Julie Hickey Designs, and you can find them on the internet. And I know they're available in America, USA and England. So wherever you are, hopefully you should be able to find them. If not, search out Julie Hickey Designs on the internet and ask her. I'm just using the ruler there to find the center position for the U. I know in America you like to say mom as opposed to mum, so you could always switch out that letter. Now, when I got to the end of this, I thought and I want to add something extra. So I started playing around with mm, gems. I had already cut some, uh, die cut some flowers out earlier um, just to sort of um, plan out this card. 
But in the end, I decided, actually, that's quite nice. And I'm going to leave it as it is. So there you have it, number 19. Thank you again for watching. And of course, please do remember to like and subscribe. That's it for this time. If you've enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. And for more from me in the future, please remember to subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.